Welcome to EWTN's Religious Catalog. EWTN's founders, our beloved Mother Angelica, first brought this program into the homes of EWTN viewers in 1996. Since then, Religious Catalog has offered thousands of Catholic products, including good books, beautiful religious art, rosaries and medals, statues of Our Lord, Our Lady, the saints, and crucifixes, all designed to enrich our spiritual lives. Religious Catalog is also your source for many of the favorite programs seen here on EWTN, including exclusive series, specials, live shows, and feature films. I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. And now, here's Mother Angelica. Well, welcome to our Religious Catalog show. So, you know, same old thing, don't forget this is a service, so try not to replace it with your contribution. Now, we have here something very wonderful. It's way over there, but it's St. Joseph and the beautiful child Jesus. And St. Joseph has this lily in his hand. Say, why is he always carrying a lily, not a florist? Well, we know that. But it's a symbol of his awesome purity in mind, heart, and soul. It's framed in a kind of antique gold leaf frame. It's got a linen mat to it, 16 by 19 inches. So if you have a place, that'd be a nice, nice thing to add to your home. And I know every one of us should have a St. Joseph and Child Jesus framed picture. Now, we have here a statue. You know, they're hard to find. A friend of mine wanted a, a, a statue of St. Joseph with the child Jesus in his hand and a lily. And it was hard to find. So we decided, well, we'll look for them. And here is a beautiful face of St. Joseph and the child Jesus. It's uh, on two feet tall. And even the child Jesus, those eyes, they just kind of look at you in a special way. Now we have a, a little videotape made by Ignatius Pretz. It's called Joseph, the man closest to Christ. And it, it, he was a just man. And this is a kind of a carpenter set here. It's got a blueprint all the kind of things they used in his day. And here we see a, a man of uncompromised obedience, a faithful man, a powerful man, an example, an example of what? Authentic manhood. Well, we could use that today. And this is a powerful film because it, it explores all the aspects of St. Joseph. He combined beautiful artwork. And he, he interviews with, there's authors, and there's about four people back here that there's interviewed about St. Joseph, including teachers. It's approximately 60 minutes, and Mark Miravalli is in here. And I think if you'd like to know, maybe introduce your family to St. Joseph, you have to play this. You know, there's one book that's been very popular with us. And since we always have new people listening, we thought we would show you again this book. It, it, I can't tell you how much and how many we've sold. It was written in France, but it's in English. And what does it do? Well, it's compiled by the monks and <clears throat> It's called The Glories of St. Joseph. And it's a collection of 30 beautiful meditations composed by saints and authors about St. Joseph being guardian and head of the Holy Family. There's a lot of stories in here about favors obtained through his intercession. There's a chapter here on Trees of Avila and how many favors she had from St. Joseph. You know, St. Joseph had 
dignity. Every, every statue you see, there's a certain dignity about St. Joseph. And you'll find him very good when you pray to him uh, in trials, uh, when you need help. And maybe you and your husband are not doing too well, huh? Well, you ought to go to St. Joseph. Maybe you can't find a job. You have to go to St. Joseph. He's a model, sanctity for Holy Family. Now, here's Doug, and he's going to recap everything and, and give you a good idea how much it costs and tell you how to order it, okay? Thanks, Mother, but first here's Barbara with some new items for our consideration. One of the best ways that we can advance in the spiritual life is by reading good books. St. John Bosco said, only God knows the good that can come about by reading one good Catholic book. Today we have many wonderful books and other resources that will inform and inspire you. First today we have the National Catholic Register. Owned by EWTN, the Register explains the Church's views on today's issues, equipping readers to defend their faith. Delivered bi-weekly, it features international and Vatican news, arts and entertainment, book reviews, travel, education, commentary, catechesis, and even more. You will grow in your faith, bring the light of Christ to the world, and embrace faith teaching moments with family and friends. With its in-depth analysis, which helps you confidently share and live out the gospel, the register also makes a great gift. The 12-month subscription includes 26 issues, and the six-month subscription includes 13 issues. Next is Navigating the Interior Life. Spiritual Direction and the Journey to God by Daniel Burke with Father John Bartunek. Dan Burke is an award-winning author, speaker, regular voice on Register Radio, and the Executive Director of the National Catholic Register. In this book, Burke shows us that spiritual direction means understanding the general direction or trajectory of one's soul. It also means working with a spiritual guide to help unite one's soul to God and to find peace and joy through the pursuit of His will. And it is a process of growing in holiness. Covering each of these pathways to peace and holiness, this book will serve the souls of those who are seeking to deepen their relationship with God and gain spiritual direction. This was voted the best Catholic book of 2012 by About.com. And here is My Sisters the Saints, a spiritual memoir. St. Philip Neri said, reading the lives of the saints is a great means to preserve piety. This is a poignant and powerful spiritual memoir about how the lives of the saints changed the life of a modern woman. Colleen Carroll Campbell, who hosts the new program EWTN News Nightly, blends her personal narrative of spiritual seeking, trials, stumbles, and breakthroughs with the stories of six women saints who profoundly changed her life. Teresa of Avila, Therese of Lisieux, Faustina of Poland, Edith Stein of Germany, Mother Teresa of Calcutta, and Mary of Nazareth. Drawing upon the rich writings and examples of these extraordinary women, the author reveals Christianity's liberating power for women. And here are several books about our Holy Father, Pope Francis. This is Pope Francis, the Pope from the End of the Earth. This lavishly illustrated book from best-selling author Thomas J. Crawwell beautifully commemorates the election of His Holiness, Pope Francis. It explores in fascinating detail who he is, where he comes from, and what his papacy could mean for the church. It includes over 60 full-color photographs of his youth, priesthood, and journey to Rome, 
an in-depth biography, including a mystical experience he had as a teen through his years as a priest and bishop, his first homilies as Pope Francis, and supplemental sections on Catholic beliefs, practices, and traditions. We also have On Heaven and Earth, Jorge Mario Bergoglio, now Pope Francis, shares his thoughts on religion, reason, and the challenges the world faces in the 21st century with Abraham Skorka, a rabbi and biophysicist. This book, originally published in Argentina in 2010, brings together a series of interreligious discussions about various theological and worldly issues, including God, fundamentalism, atheism, abortion, homosexuality, euthanasia, same-sex marriage, and globalization. From these personal and accessible talks comes a first-hand view of the man who would become Pope to 1.2 billion Catholics. And here is Pray For Me, the life and spiritual vision of Pope Francis, first Pope from the Americas. Dr. Robert Moynihan, founder and editor of Inside the Vatican magazine, presents an enlightening introduction to the life and spiritual teachings of Jorge Mario Bergoglio. It also includes biographical information and an absorbing collection of our Holy Father's most persuasive words. Likewise, we have Pope Francis the first and most comprehensive perspective of the man and the global challenges Pope Francis faces in the Universal Church. Written by Dr. Matthew Bunsen, this is the culmination of years of research and planning across multiple languages and sources that includes the events and analysis of Pope Benedict's resignation, a complete biography of Pope Francis, including his family history, his work as a priest, bishop, and cardinal, the texts and speeches from his election to his installation, a discussion of Pope Francis' coat of arms, and much more. Next is Jesus of Nazareth, Holy Week. In this sequel to Jesus of Nazareth, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI looks at the first Holy Week. The story of Jesus raises many crucial questions. Why was Jesus rejected by the religious leaders of his day? Who was responsible for his death? Did he establish a church to carry on his work? How did Jesus view his suffering and death? How should we? And most importantly, did Jesus really rise from the dead and what does his resurrection mean? Good questions. And here is Father Mitch Pacwa's new book, The Holy Land and Armchair Pilgrimage. What's the next best thing to going on a pilgrimage to the Holy Land with Father Mitch Pacwa? Being able to travel with him from the comfort of your home as the holy sites come to life through the pages of this book. With stunning images and thoughtful commentary, this book is more than your typical travel guide. It also contains short commentary on each site, spiritual meditation for you to consider, prayers that Father Pacwa uses on his annual pilgrimages, and more. Travel with Father Pacwa to the sites of all 20 mysteries of the rosary and other significant spots. And here are several other books by Father Mitch Pacwa. First is Winning the Battle Against Sin, Hope-Filled Lessons from the Bible. What is sin? Why did it happen? And how can we overcome it? Father Pacwa uses his extensive knowledge of the scriptures to take us on a tour of the Bible to help us understand sin and why we need Jesus in our lives to defeat it. By examining important biblical passages, Father provides us with hope 
that we can win the battle against sin by putting it to death on the cross and allowing the Holy Spirit to fill us and to transform us. Next is how to listen when God is speaking. How do we listen to God speak to our hearts, minds, and wills, especially above the noise and stress of the modern world? What is the process of discerning God's will? Father Packwood tackles these and other questions in this comprehensive book on discernment. We also have the Eucharist, a Bible study guide for Catholics. The Holy Eucharist is called the source and summit of our Catholic faith, but do we really understand its true meaning? Father Mitch Pacwa shows us the connection between the Eucharist and the scriptures, and with reflection and discussion, you will learn to apply these principles in your own life. Father Pacwa answers many common questions about the Eucharist, including, where do we see symbols of the Eucharist in the Old Testament? How is the Eucharist emphasized in the New Testament? What did Jesus mean when he said, do this in remembrance of me? Next is Seven Secrets of the Eucharist, written by Vinnie Flynn with an introduction by Father Mitch Pacwa. Deeply based on the scriptures, the writings of the saints, and the teachings of the popes, this profound and remarkably readable book will introduce you to some of the hidden truths of the Eucharist, truths that have always been embraced by theologians, saints, and mystics, but have rarely been passed on to the average person in a meaningful way. These truths are finally made accessible to all as the author shows how each reception of Holy Communion can be a life-changing experience. Likewise, we have Seven Secrets of Confession. Vinnie Flynn presents this new book that reveals seven key secrets or hidden truths about the great spiritual beauty, power, and depth of confession. The understanding that many Catholics have of the sacrament of confession is very limited and narrow in its focus, and it keeps them from discovering the real beauty and value of this sacrament beauty and value that even a young child can understand if it's presented properly. If you have not yet experienced confession as a wonderful personal encounter with Christ, this book is for you. Here is one of the great Catholic classics, Confessions of St. Augustine. In this inspiring work, St. Augustine describes his own failings and offers advice on living the Christian life. This deluxe edition is bound in a burgundy vinyl cover with a gold ribbon place marker. Next is the miraculous medal, Stories, Prayers, and Devotions. Author, speaker, and EWTN host Donna Marie Cooper O'Boyle examines the origin and history of the beloved sacramental that has become known as the Miraculous Medal. You will learn how it got its name and the story of St. Catherine Labore, who introduced it to the world. You will also read personal stories of those who have experienced the medal's miraculous power, how it transformed one couple's home into an oasis of peace, helped heal a woman's breast cancer, and even calmed a crazed intruder. And here is 33 Days to Morning Glory, a do-it-yourself retreat in preparation for Marian consecration by Michael E. Gately. With four giants of Marian spirituality, St. Louis de Montfort, St. Maximilian Kolbe, Blessed Mother Teresa of Calcutta, and Blessed Pope John Paul II, this book masterfully summarizes their teachings making it easy to grasp and simple enough to put into practice. More specifically, 
he weaves their thought into a user-friendly, do-it-yourself retreat that will bless even the busiest of people. Next, we have the life of Sister Marie de Mondot Grancy and Mary's House in Ephesus by Reverend Carl G. Schult. Here is the compelling story of a woman's faith-filled life of service and her providential discovery of Our Lady's last earthly dwelling place. Marie de Mondot Grancy gave up a life of nobility to serve Christ in the poor as a daughter of charity. Her fine education prepared her well for her new life. In 1886, Pope Leo XIII called for French missionaries to serve in Smyrna near Ephesus, and Sister Marie went, hoping also for an opportunity to find Mary's house. And thus begins this fascinating story. And here is the book, Why Catholicism Matters, How Catholic Virtues Can Reshape Society in the 21st Century by Bill Donahue. Always willing to speak his mind and put up the good fight, Bill Donahue, the president of the Catholic League, reminds readers of the great wealth of charity and wisdom that exists in the Catholic tradition. Dr. Donahue explores the four cardinal virtues, prudence, justice, fortitude, and temperance, and shows us how the church's best attributes can be applied to solve many of the biggest problems society must confront today and in the future. And finally, we have the Encyclopedia of U.S. Catholic History. Catholics have always played a critical role in the forward progress of the United States in every area of our society, science, industry, philosophy, business, medicine, entertainment, and even politics. With over 2,000 entries from A to Z, you will be amazed by the depth and breadth of the information that illustrates the Church's contribution to each state in the Union. This encyclopedia is a valuable, unique, and thorough reference to American Catholicism. This book was researched and written by Matthew and Margaret Bunsen, with a foreword by Timothy Cardinal Dolan. And now, here's Doug. Thanks, Barbara. Now here's a look at the items that Mother has spoken about on this program. Now the first of our holy reminders from Mother Angelica was the St. Joseph and Child Jesus framed artwork she showed us. It's pictured on your screen. It's priced at $70. Item number is 1005, St. Joseph and Child Jesus framed artwork. We also have the St. Joseph and Child Jesus outdoor statue. It's priced at $110. Item number is 2425C, the St. Joseph and Child outdoor statue. Or we have Joseph, the man closest to Christ. Now it's a fine DVD priced at $20. Item number 5622D is featured on EWTN. And we also have the glories of St. Joseph, item number 204, priced at $15 for that particular book. Now moving on to the items that Barbara has presented. First up for Barbara, how about getting the National Catholic Register, a 12-month subscription it's only $49.95, and it's item number 12REG for register, the National Catholic Register 12-month subscription. Or if you'd prefer, there's a six-month subscription as well. It's $29.95, and that's for the National Catholic Register, the Catholic Paper of Record. And that's 6REG, that's for the six-month edition, 12REG for the 12-month subscription. Next up, we have Navigating the Interior Life, very popular book priced at $14. Item number is 55865, Navigating the Interior Life. And we have Colleen Carroll Campbell's My Sisters the Saints, a spiritual memoir priced at $23. Item number is 36490, My Sisters the Saints. Or there's Pope Francis, the Pope from the End of the Earth, priced at $23. Item number is 1361 for Pope Francis. Next up is On Heaven and Earth, priced at $22. This book is item number 5066, On Heaven and Earth. 
Moving ahead, we have Pray For Me. It's priced at $20. Item number is 90756. This one's entitled Pray For Me. And there's also the book that's entitled just simply Pope Francis. It's item number T1417. It's priced at $17. Moving ahead, we have the Jesus of Nazareth Holy Week, priced at $25. Item number is 75009. That's Jesus of Nazareth Holy Week. Or we have Father Mitch's The Holy Land, an armchair pilgrimage, priced at $25, item number 6131. Very popular, The Holy Land, an armchair pilgrimage. There's also Winning the Battle Against Sin, priced at $13. It's item number 2250, Winning the Battle Against Sin. Or How to Listen When God is Speaking, it's priced at $13 as well. And it's item number 1833 for that book. Or there's also the Eucharist, priced at $10. Item number is T1375 for the Eucharist. Or we have the Seven Secrets of the Eucharist, priced at $10 by Vinnie Flynn, is featured on bookmark 79311, Seven Secrets of the Eucharist. And there's also his book, Seven Secrets of Confession as well. Now it's priced at $13 and it's item number is 9465. Moving ahead, we have the classic, The Confessions of St. Augustine, priced at $12. Item number is 17319, Confessions of St. Augustine. Moving ahead even further, we have the miraculous medal that Barbara showed us. It's priced at $15. Item number is 36625 for the miraculous medal. Very popular item. And we have 33 Days to Morning Glory, another popular book featured on Bookmark, priced at $15. Item number is 424. 33 Days to Morning Glory. Next up, we have The Life of Sister Marie de Mandant Grance and Mary's House. It's priced at $19. Item number is 2335 for The Life of Sister Marie de Mandant Grance and Mary's House. And we have The Why Catholicism Matters, priced at $23. Its item number is 85333 for Why Catholicism Matters. And closing out this program is the Encyclopedia of U.S. Catholic History. It's priced at $50. Item number is T965, the Encyclopedia of U.S. Catholic History. So, if you'd like to order any of the items featured on this program, just go to our website, www.ewtnreligiouscatalog.com, where you can see all the items featured from this particular program. In fact, you can actually see all the items offered on our website, all the ones that are offered by the catalog itself, and you can look there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can order, peruse, consider, and of course, at the same time, you can also give us a call at 1-800-854-6316, absolutely toll free. And you can use your Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and or American Express card, whether on our internet site or over the phone. And now, back to Barbara. When Mother Angelica founded EWTN Religious Catalog, she hoped we would be the most widely known and trusted source for religious articles and other items to help our viewers deepen their knowledge and understanding of the Roman Catholic faith. You have many choices when deciding where to purchase Holy Reminders. Every purchase made directly supports the important work and mission of EWTN. We sincerely appreciate your choice to support us through your purchases from Religious Catalog.